you're probably going to have to hit refresh. But all right, I'll I'll give it a few seconds before why it's it's coming up here. Make sure we're actually live. And if this is your first time here, my wife Robin is uh, on the phone with me. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the chat and she will relay them to me. Um, I'm going to, are, are we live yet? We are live. Look at that. That's technology right there. All right. Um, so uh, before we get started here, a huge thank you to everybody par who participated in the craft festival this month. Um, had some uh, new people on there too, which is really cool. Get to uh, just a variety of things. So I want to thank everybody for being on there. And uh, we had a blast. We watched, watched everybody today. Um, it was a lot of fun. So hopefully, if you have any suggestions, throw them out there in the chat or email uh, Jamie or myself. And if you have know somebody else that you know with that does kind of a different craft too and we can next time we do one we can uh, pick something else uh while the craft festival is going on today uh, look bruce is bruce out there in the chat look what i got in the mail today bruce <laughs> i got the keychain thank you buddy <laughs> mailman pulled up and there it was all right um I, uh, so what I'm going to do is actually, I don't even know what it's called. So maybe somebody can help me. It's, it, I'm going to turn a top today, but it's not a regular top. It's a dice top. And if you don't know Robin's favorite era in the whole world, is she likes like anything, movies or TVs, like pre-gun, like knights and swords and stuff like that renaissance that she just told me it's renaissance so um that's what she loves and she was watching a show um and they had this uh it was a, a spinning top it was a top you spin but it had a dice it had numbers around it she goes can you make me one of those so that's what we're doing today i'm going to turn a top and i don't know if i'll be able to get it done in the hour but we'll 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 try um actually we did i did one the other day it's a top and I went ahead and all the way around it, it's six-sided. So I went ahead and used a little Dremel tool that I'll use here in a, here in a second. But I want to give a, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Glenn uh, Sr. from Yorkshire Grit. Thank you so much, Glenn. He sent everybody that was involved in the craft show a tub of Yorkshire Grit. It got the regular and the one for the resin. So thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Much appreciate it. I was get, I was getting down there on my other tub, so I was I uh, appreciate that, sir. All right, um, I will. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did the vase with the um, I think it's Choya cactus, and I used that Yorkshire grit on it, and I put that video up uh, yesterday. Yeah, so stuff is awesome. All right, so this one little little uh, clue. This one right here is. It, I just kind of made a test one. It's a little small and you spin it and it doesn't spin very long because I, the tip isn't, isn't quite long enough. So we're going to do a bigger one. Hopefully it'll spin better. If you have a short attention span, this one falls over pretty fast and you'll have your number. So if you're playing Yahtzee, this is probably the one, one to go with, but we're going to turn a bigger one. See if we can't get it to spin like a, a regular top. All right. Um, uh, was there anything else I was supposed to kick off right off the bat? I think that was about it. All right, let me switch cameras here and we'll get to turn in this thing. And again, if you have any questions about anything, um, just leave them in the chat and Robin will let me know and I will try and repeat the question. I, I have a hard time with that one. All right, all right. If I don't repeat the question, please tell me I didn't repeat it. All right. So this was actually a longer piece. I cut it up on the table saw, did six sided on it, and it was a chunk I took out of the out of the end of it to make that little guy there. So and I just drilled in with a little uh cone bit and I'll show you that here in a second when when I do it. But it's pretty simple to do. So 
uh, Robin went ahead and just just painted this one so I can turn it away and then when we're left we'll just have a the white will already be on it so where is everybody from out there and you've been enjoying the craft festival all day I have a list of everybody that was involved in it down in the description and a link to the website and a link to their channels as well. So we had had a bunch of bunch of cool stuff on there. Marcy was back again doing some paint pouring. We had a glass blower. Sai just finished up. Awesome job. All right. Uh, nice, nice. All right. I'm going to use a spindle gouge on this one and so the other one's pretty small so I'm gonna actually br bring it make the tip quite a, uh, probably an inch or so bigger than this one and see if we can't get it to spin spin better than that one I know it's just on my hand but it doesn't spin much better than that on the table all right All right. Go ahead and crank the lay speed up. It's about about two thousand, and we'll just use a spindle gouge. And actually, I need to bring that down a little bit. That little part right there, I want it kind of sharp, yeah, like that, so it creates a nice little spot. And I, I need them kind of about that size because I want it to, you know, look proportioned right when I drill the drill little holes in it too. So, so we'll uh, once I get up here in the top part, I'll I'll do that. And this is just a piece of maple. And I'm going to leave the tailstock up there for just a second and come down in here. But I think I want it a little bit bigger than that. That doesn't seem, seem quite big enough. I want it to spin a little better than the other one. The one she saw on the show, it was really kind of primitive. It was almost like a, it kind of looked like a, she took a picture of it. She paused the TV and <laughs> took a picture. And it was kind of like a four by four, you know, inch thick piece of wood with a dowel in the center of it. It was, it was pretty, uh, Pretty primitive looking. All right, I think that it, that should do it. That should get it to spin. That's quite a bit, quite a bit bigger than the other one. All right, we're gonna go with that. And come down on this side. a little big so it's more of a rectangle I want it want it kind of definitely more of a square shape
That should do it. Yeah, that's better. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and just, just bring this down and do a spindle, basically a spindle shape. I'll break it down with the bigger, bigger spindle gouge, and then I'll go ahead and switch over to smaller ones. Jamie wants to know what I'm going to do with the other 50 minutes. Um, I don't know. Pick something. Um, we can turn, turn just about anything. All right. I'm going to switch over to a smaller spindle gouge. Well, you got about two minutes before I'm done, so. So, you better come up with something fast, Jamie. All right. Well, I don't think a top is going to work well with a captive ring, but, but, uh, um, okay, anything other than a captive ring. I guess it's not like we're going to use this thing. Can I put a captive ring on it? I'm asking Robin, can I, can I put a captive ring on it? No, she wants it. So, Mark, she just outvoted you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you and the pencil project. Is, is there any anybody legitimate out there that has a suggestion? Robin's not saying anything, so that basically tells me there's no one legitimate in the chat. Is that what you're is that what you're saying? <laughs> Oh, everybody wants to hear me sing. Is that, is that what I'm hearing? No. I know that's a lie. For those of you in the chat who have heard me sing, I know you don't want to hear it again. All right. Bud vase. We could do a bud vase. We can do a bud vase. Lidded bowl. You mean a box? Alright, let me. I gotta go over it on this one. Jordan I, Jordan, I can't do a yo-yo. There's a lot of gluing involved. Alright. Maybe I, 
Maybe I can just stretch this out for an hour. I could, I could sing. Oh, there you go. I could just keep turning tops, battling tops. I could just keep turning tops. Uh, Seth, uh, do I have any Banksia pot? I don't think I do. I had some years ago. I don't know where it went. Hold it out ornament. I could do, I could do an ornament. I can do a bud vase. A bud vase. Uh, who just got here? Terry. Terry just got here and wants to know what I'm making. We're, that's what we're trying to figure out, Terry. We're trying to figure out what to make next. Because I'm just, I'm doing a, a, I don't even know what it's called, a dice top, I guess. Is that what we're going, going? Here, here's the one I did the other day. It's a dice around the top. So I'm doing a larger one because this one doesn't spin very well. It's not good. So we're trying to get a bigger one that spins, but then this isn't going to take very long, so we're trying to figure out what else to make. All right. Mushroom. Uh. I think the bun face is good. I think a bud face is good. At Valentine's Day is coming up. It's an easy project to do for Valentine's Day. You can actually do a couple of them. Face is good. I think that's a good suggestion, especially with Valentine's Day. Slowly bringing that down, and before it, before I bring down the back side of it, I will sand up that part of it, and then we can I can show you. So it it's uh, the dreadle, yes, Valerie. I see we looked that up too. Is do they are they six sided like this? Because I I saw that too. When we were trying to figure out what it was. We just want to use it for Yahtzee when we're on the road. And if you don't know, Robin and I play Yahtzee every night when we're out in the mobile shop. And we uh, have a lot of fun doing it. So we were going to use it for Yahtzee, but I think each game would take two or three hours with a dice like this.
Oh, we could color a bud face, yes. To <laughs> yeah, that does five more of these to play Yahtzee. Yeah, this, that doesn't seem like a good time. Okay, so it basically is a dreidel. Do they ask them if, if uh, well, I guess I'll ask them. Let me know what they say. <laughs> Does a dreidel just not spin very long? It's not like a regular top. It just... That is not true. Robin, he's won a couple of games, but it was just pure luck. <laughs> All right. All right. You know what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to drill the holes where it's right here. I did the other one after it was off, but I want to want to. I think it'll be easier if I just do it right here. And then we can move on to the bud phase. Okay. So the vote is bud phase. Robin said that. That got the most votes. Alright. I'm just going to eyeball this. There's one... Two. Robin's laughing, so that. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. You like the lives? I. I like them too. I. Uh, They're a lot of fun. Okay, all right. All right, Valerie. Yeah, it was when we, we were trying to look it up to see what to even call it and the dreadle was the only thing we could find, but it didn't have like numbers like a dice, so we we just weren't sure what to do or what to call it. All right, all I did with with this other one was Robin was going to paint them, and then I I said, well, I have that little thing, and it might just be easier to do that, and then you could paint them, but you really don't have to after you're done. You probably see me use this little little bit before to to texture turning pieces or any, or stuff like that but it actually works out perfect kind of burns the wood going in so they look black it just burns it and takes care of it all at one shot all right we're just going to start at one and go through and i'm just pushing it straight in it's just that quick I've used this thing to decorate like lidded boxes and things and it, it works fantastic. Just like that. I'm just trying to push it down in there even, all the same depth. There we go. 
uh, oh, the tip on the little little tool. Okay, so there it is. It's can you see that? That better better view. It's just a little kind of just a diamond shape. Little V bit. Uh, I don't know if I have. I don't have another one. But that's it. I'll I'll put a link down below in the description after the video's over. Um of of which bit it is. I'll I'll find it online and put a link down there. All right. And all I did was take take 320 and on the other one and because there's little burrs on it lightly scuff it if I can make a 20 sided dice I it took me a while to figure out how to make a six sided dice on the on the table saw I, I had to go watch a couple of videos on how to cut a hexagon and yeah there's let's just say there's some scrap pieces are out over there that aren't six sided and and I don't know what went wrong though Okay, you want, they want me to use the Yorkshire grit on the handle? All right, all right. I'll polish it up. I'll put it on all of it. Well, I'm not going to put it on the white, but the, I'll put it on the the raw part. Look at the luster. We'll, we'll run it. Do I know the Yorkshire Grit song? Is that was that a question in the chat? I yeah, I think it goes right along with the Gilligan's Island song, right? Because it's the only one I actually know. Is that what it, is that the one they're talking about? I think so too. <laughs> okay, I hadn't heard that one. Oh, somebody was saying, oh, <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, Robin said somebody in the chat said, said something about sanding sealer. I don't use it. I never have. I, I've never put it on anything I turn. Um, I know, I don't know, some people do, I I just I've never never used it on anything. Oh, I I I think I'm gonna go ahead and like be like 100% honest. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I mean, is it like a paste or an oil or what is it? Is anybody? I'm sure somebody out there knows. I don't even know what it does. It's supposed to not let the finish go into the wood or... I'm gonna crank the speed up here. I do get asked that a lot about sanding sealer. I've never, never used it. All right. 
there we go. It really brings out the that color in the wood. I only sanded it with with 180, so I mean, if I would have went up a little higher, it probably would have done a better job. But I really like the brings out the color in it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that one and grab a clean one and get the rest of it off. It's shellac. Sanding sealer is shellac. Yeah, Jay, I've never. I don't think I've ever finished anything with shellac. Um, I, I've i used like polyurethane finished, epoxy finishes, the oil, wax finish. I don't, I don't think I've ever done a, a shellac finish on anything. Does everybody... <laughs> You're welcome, Jake. We got to stick together. All right. See, it so it seals the grain. But uh, why do you? So I I use oil a lot. So I'm thinking I wouldn't want to seal the grain. I, I want that oil to go down in it. I, I like that that satin finish. Um, so I don't want like a high gloss finish on it. I like when it colors the wood, you know, gives it a nice rich color. So I will probably continue to not use sanding sealer. But, it, you know, for certain projects, I guess when you want a high gloss or something, it, I'm sure it would be would be great. Yeah, I, all right. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm just. I'm really not. Not sure. It sounds like everybody else. There's a bunch of different kinds of it. So I don't know. All right. Clean up that one little nub on the top. Normally, I I would have been able to turn that that j actually just off right there, but it was so close to the jaws, I I couldn't get a bite on the inside of it. So we'll just we'll just sand it off. It shouldn't take long. That little nub. All right, there we go. Now we need to figure out if we can spin this thing. I need to get get a block of wood or something. And then we'll make a, a pot. A, uh, a weed pot. Hang on. So did everybody enjoy the show today? Oh, it doesn't spin either. I think it's a bad idea. It's supposed to fall quickly, Robin said. I'm going to do it like this. Oh, there it started to spin. Well, I can't do it that way. Oh, it stiffens the fibers up, the sanding sealer. I think this one's too big. I think the smaller one works better. 
<laughs> All right. Up or down? Down. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me grab a, another piece of wood here real quick, and we'll we'll make a make a uh, look at that a top. I can't. I can't. Smaller handle. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I got a feeling. It's just a hunch. I'm just throwing it out there that I'm probably never going to make one of those again. <laughs> All right. Let me... Uh, I'm, I'm right here. I did not listen. Robin's, Robin's throwing me under the bus right now. Not, not cool. All right, hang on. Uh, I don't have a limb. I'm looking for a little limb. I do have a little. No, that one's not going to work. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. I have to run out. I have to run out to the garage and grab a limb. How's everybody doing? Hang on. I need a I need a limb and I can't find one for a weed pot. This This is the best live stream ever. I'm I'm digging around my garage looking for a limb. You guys you guys just just chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> okay. Okay. Listen, I, I know you guys can't see me, but I'm literally on my hands and knees underneath a table in the, the garage trying to grab a, a limb. Oh, I got one. Oh, oh. Oh, and it's stuck. Oh, it's not going to come out of there. She's probably going to post this on Facebook right now. Okay, I got a small one. This will work. Not cool. Not cool. Oh, all right. And then she closed the door and locked me in here. Whew. Luckily, we're it's like super professional. It's. This is what I have to put up with on a daily basis. All right. Hang on one second. I got to cut this cut this limb. Are we we're back look at that look at that
that that's not right. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this was this was used to be the Posh Festival. <laughs> Oh, all right. I'm I'm just dragging it in dragging it into the toilet. So anyway, what was I saying? Is everybody enjoying enjoying it? Let's let's get back to work. Yeah. She just said she's gonna post that picture on Facebook. That is so not cool. Do you? I gotta get is no sympathy from anybody out there, or are you just not telling me? Cause I. I think somebody out there is on my side. All right. Robin, Robin's get quite a kick out of this. All right. Let's switch the cameras back. So you can't see the disgust on my face. Hi. All right. This is, I'm not sure what kind of wood this is. I got this from a buddy of mine in Southern Oregon. And uh, I don't know what it is. It's super dense wood. And it's got almost like a little bit of a greenish color on it. But it's, I mean, it's super heavy and dense. It's cool stuff. We are going to, we're going to leave a little bit of bark on this one, I think. Let's try that. We'll probably, it'll probably just end up being a patch, but we'll, we'll try and do that. All right. Oh, thank you, Mike and Mike. Thank you guys. Yeah, a lot of fun. We'll just bring, we'll take the bark off of here. Is Robin's still laughing, so that, that's not a good sign for me. Keep all of it? Yeah. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah. All right, I have... I have a drill, too. That we're gonna... We're gonna use to drill out the center of it. Emerging weed bud. Yes. Uh, an emerging bud face. Uh, Valerie, I, yeah, I don't think so. 
on this one. I am going to leave a bunch of the bark, though. I, 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 no, I'm too, uh, I'm too flustered to do anything, be and it's, it's not, it's not that, uh, I don't want to do it, it's that Robin won't stop laughing in my ear, so I have no idea what is going on, but I just know it's embarrassing for me, whatever it is. Either Robin's posting the picture or you guys are laughing at me because I'm grunting or... but it has some a green tint to it. I'm not sure what it is. We'll get down get down into the heartwood though. That's the pretty part. And then I'm going to use my uh, my lamp auger to drill a hole in it. Uh, is the wood juniper, Bruce? Um, I don't know. Is juniper super dense wood? I I mean it may it may be. I'll I'll, I'll show you when I get. Turn the light off. You can take a look at that heartwood. hard to tell I get probably in the camera but it is it's got a green green look to it I gotta clean that up right there white elm maybe Uh, I do, I do know that it's not mesquite, sorry, it's, um, we, uh, yeah, we don't have much mesquite here in, in Oregon, but, um, but I've turned a bunch of mesquite and it's, it's not, uh, not the same thing. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to switch out live centers here real quick. And we're going to put in the one without the spur in it and bring it right back up. And that way I can, hang on, let me switch cameras. I can 
take this monster here. It's a lamp auger. I bought this, I don't know, probably 20 years ago for doing, because apparently I wanted to do a lamp. I think I've done a couple, like maybe three or four lamps, but I still have it. All right. Um, it actually goes right into the, through the, can you see that in the camera? It goes right in through your live center, through the, the tailstock, and into the wood. Let me switch the cameras back, because that, that one's like, I'm going to be right in the way. But I'm just going to drill down into it about, about to there. And we'll turn the lay speed down, so it, so it, so it doesn't burn it. And same thing with this. I'm just going in an inch or so, pulling it out, cleaning the shavings out, and going going back in. You don't want to just keep keep going in with it because it'll it will plug it up. But it actually works works really well. I'll show you a close up of it here in a second. But definitely just keep going back and forth pulling it out. You know, normally on these, I, I, uh, I don't have a problem at all with Robin talking to me the whole time I'm turning. She's, she's, she's going back, you know, telling me what's going on in the chat and if there's any questions. But this one's, I'm a little, uh, a little nervous because they're basically, it's just her laughing at me. Jay said he's learned a lot today. All right, all right. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much. All right. And I think we're good. That should be long enough. I'll sh See that? So now everybody is going over and clicking on that link so they can see me digging around in the garage. For you, those of you who are good people, good, solid people who are still here, this is the lamp auger. Everybody else apparently is over on Facebook looking at my butt. And it it works great for drilling out stuff like this. And I probably just went down in it uh, probably five inches. All right, I'm going to clean up that just a little bit, and then we'll sand it. Is Glenn Sr. there, still there? Because I want to ask him, are you happy you are a part of this now? Yeah. All right. I just cleaned up just the face of that, and then I'll we'll go ahead and sand it. I I should have been wearing a Yorkshire grit shirt over there. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I'll run through a couple more grits on this one. Oh, I could do that. Yeah. How about we do that? We'll burn it. We'll burn part of it. I mean, this is kind of a spoiler because these are Robin's Robin's two Valentine's Day presents right here. The the. <laughs> <laughs> she she gets a dice and a weed pot. All right, let's burn it. Where's the where did the torch go? Is it in the house? 
I'm going to need it. Hang on, I'll be back. This. Say hi, Robin. <laughs> I would have brought it to you. She would have she would have said hi, but she was laughing too hard. <laughs> uh, all right. Let, let's light this thing up. Well, that does look cool. If you don't go too far, it just hits the green on top. I like that. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, that looks sweet. It, it makes it look purple now. That's a nice, that's a nice easy finish. No sanding sealer required. All right. I like that. It just hit the high grain on that. Sweet. All right. I'm going to clean that out with a pair of tweezers apparently. But there it is. Where'd our dice go? L look at that. It is exactly time. So I can go in and cry in the fetal position. <laughs> Robin said she posted that on Facebook. <laughs> right? I will. That's it. I am taking both those outside and lighting the... Going to roll gonna go roast some marshmallows <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh oh um what do we what do we got uh well we got two projects done oh kind of kind of two projects done all right um I hope everybody had a fantastic time today watching everybody. Um, I have another wood turning class coming up uh, next weekend. I'll have a link down below in the description. If you're interested, we're going to do last, last week we did linen boxes and this week we're doing bowls. We're going to turn a bowl, uh, two bowls actually in the class and one of them with a uh, chuck and one without. And I'll do one with uh, carbide tools and one with gouges. So a little bit of variety. So everybody gets, you know, if you have a chuck, you'll see that way and you'll see the other way without a chuck. So I figured we would just do do that because uh, a lot of people out there don't have a chuck. So if you're interested, I'll have a link down below in the description for that. Um want to thank uh, again thank Glenn and I'm sorry about this last hour we fin it's probably probably not a good message you know or a good representation of your company um but uh, thank you Glenn thanks so much for sending those I needed some more appreciate it um thanks for everybody else that demonstrated there were a ton of ton of cool uh, cool stuff um just like every time but um uh, like I said in the beginning of it, if you have any suggestions or know of anybody else that does does something, um, you know that that you think they might be probably better than mine, which be anybody, um, <laughs> please let Jamie or I know and uh, or leave it in the in the chat and uh, we will look them up. And yeah, if you have if anybody out there has like any any stuff that you know 
isn't woodworking or, or wood turning, so we could get a variety of stuff. Like I said, we, we had a glass blower on here, and uh, that was super cool. Andy did some uh, cool uh, the mold making stuff. Um, uh, Marcy was on with the paint pour, but yeah, any a variety of stuff, and we'll do another one in uh, in a couple of months. So it was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, I can't think of anything else. Was there anything else I was supposed to bring up or mention? I was hoping that hoping the top would work better. Yeah, yeah, I was hoping the top would work better. All right. I just told them about the class we're having next Saturday. See, see, before I leave, here's what I'm going to, I need, I need to just shed some light on this real quick. As I was wrapping up, I told you I had, had a, another class coming up, talked about it, explained it. And Robin, in my ear, just a second ago, I go, do I have anything else to talk about? She goes, you could talk about your class. And she goes, I already did. And she goes, oh, I wasn't listening. I was on Facebook laughing too much. Whew. I'm going to cry now. Not cool. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, she's back. Hang on. Robin's back. She's off of Facebook now. Thank you. It was a great day. <laughs> <laughs> Great day. Hope everybody had a good time. I need to go delete a post on Robin's account. And <laughs> all right, it was a lot of fun, and we'll definitely be doing it again. So, so uh, hope you enjoy it. All right, everybody, have a great weekend. Be safe. We'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. <laughs>